All right, guys, so we have another Amazon diesel engine to take a look at. So previously on the channel, we looked at and tested this 10 horse diesel engine. This one is 418 cc's. They rate it at 10 horsepower. You can buy that on Amazon as well as this 196 cc diesel engine as well. You can also buy this on Amazon. This is three horsepower and we actually made this one into a generator. Did some testing on that. And to this day, those two diesel engine videos, I actually made a bunch of videos on those engines, but the original unboxings are actually some of the highest viewed videos on my channel. So obviously some of you guys out there watching love the small diesel engine content. So we have another engine right here. There's actually three different engines you can buy on Amazon or eBay. It's the 418cc, it's the 196cc, and then there's this one here, which is kind of in the middle. It looks a lot like the 10 horse engine, but it's a 247cc diesel engine that they rate at five horsepower. So we're gonna open this thing up and take a look at it. And just like all the other engines, you get it inside of a wooden crate that they put in a box. And I feel really bad for the Amazon guy that had to deliver this because it's not light. It's not as heavy as the 400cc diesel, but it ain't light. Oh wow, this thing's pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Same greasy, uh, same really greasy plastic bag that they all came with. All right, so here's the engine itself. So basically it looks like a smaller version of the 10 horse diesel engine, which is a good thing because the 10 horse diesel engine actually has a pressurized lubrication system. And I believe this one does as well because inside here there's actually a strainer. And in order to have that, there has to be some sort of oil pump in the engine. The shaft appears to be a three quarter inch shaft. You're gonna put your oil here. As you can see, there's plenty of bolt holes for mounting options. You got some bolt holes here as well. Up here up top, this is gonna to be your decompression lever for starting it. Nice exhaust. Got your little air cleaner right here as well as your pull start. And then in the box as well, it looks like you get a keyway, a random bolt with a washer, some cheap tools and the manual itself. So we're not gonna need any of that. Right here is gonna be your throttle assembly with your governor plate and all that. So with this little thumb throttle, with this little wheel here loose, you can see you can move the throttle. And there's also provision right there where you can install a throttle cable. So it goes in right here and connects right here. And that's very similar to the big boy 418cc diesel. It looks exactly the same. In fact, this engine looks literally exactly like this one, just way smaller, which is kind of cool. All right, now we're gonna try to fire this thing up. So what I have here is some Rotella 15W40 oil. So we're gonna throw some oil in the crankcase, make sure that's at the correct level. We're gonna put some diesel fuel in the tank and see if we can get this thing to fire off and kick off really good. Now that I'm on my third Chinese diesel engine, I think I'm pretty good at starting these things now. So we'll see what kind of look we have. Wipe some of the oil and stuff off this thing from the packaging. So it's pretty cool. Got both the diesels right here, very awesome. All right, I didn't bring a funnel, so I'm gonna have to pour the oil directly into the crankcase without overfilling it or making a giant mess. Oops, I'm already making a mess. All right, I have the oil just up to the thread, so that should be plenty. All right, chat, so I actually don't have any diesel fuel right now and I don't feel like going to the gas station. So what I do have is what I think is vegetable oil. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the fuel tank. We already got the oil topped off. So we're gonna try to start it on uh, whatever this is. I think it's vegetable oil. All right, there we go. All right, just like the last two previous engines that we bought and started and unboxed on the channel, this thing's not gonna be mounted down because I'm just so excited. I wanna see if this thing's gonna fire up. So we're just gonna try to let it sit on the ground. I'm gonna turn the throttle to about half like that. And that's it, let's see what it does. I'm gonna prime it a few times. See if they'll fire. Oh yeah, one pull. Look at that. The first pull. All right, it just shut off, but I didn't really put much oil in there. I might need to put some more fuel in the fuel tank. I'm gonna try to see if I can get it to restart real quick. My hands are also very greasy because this whole thing is greasy. So that makes sense. I was so surprised how easily it fired up.
Oh yeah, she runs so good. Next, to be able to break the engine in properly, I do want to mount it on something. So I figured we could take our old generator project, mount the new diesel on the cart. That way we can actually break the engine in, produce a little bit of electricity. I have been wanting to get this project up and running again because it's just been sitting. And my plan all along was to make a backup diesel generator to charge my 48 volt batteries. Now, as far as the mounting bolt spacing, because I'm sure people are going to ask, we're going to go ahead and measure that real quick. So it looks like center on center of both holes it is three and a half inches wide and about eight and one quarter inches. So that's gonna be the mounting pattern for the bottom of this. So you can use those numbers to determine if you're looking at this at home and maybe there's a go-kart or a piece of equipment you wanna put this on. Those are kind of your rough dimensions of the poles. And here are these two engines kind of side by side. So this has more of a vertical, unique cylinder design. This looks a lot like the Honda clone gas engines that are everywhere on all kinds of mini bikes and like the Predator 212 engine. Literally looks exactly the same, except has an injection pump and a fuel injector instead of a spark plug. The biggest downside really with this engine, it just doesn't produce a ton of horsepower. Hopefully this will be a good upgrade. Plus we have a pressurized oiling system, like I mentioned before, and I think it'll increase longevity. But that engine has been good. I've had no problems with it and we haven't wore it out yet. So currently this plate is drilled for the 196 diesel as well as the 410 cc diesel. So that's what the bigger holes here and here are for. So we're gonna have to probably put this thing on the plate and kind of see where it lines up. And of course, none of the holes line up, so I'm gonna have to make some new holes, but that's not a problem. The engine is fully mounted to our little generator cart, and I noticed an issue when I went to mount our pulley. The pulley is actually a standard three quarter inch shaft. However, the engine shaft is actually a metric size, so I believe it is a 25 millimeter or not 25, whatever the equivalent is to three quarter inch, just slightly bigger in millimeters. That's what size the shaft is. So standard three quarter inch engine accessories are not gonna fit this engine. However, we actually had the same issue with this, and I think I showed on video that we ended up just using a flap disc on a grinder and very carefully machining this down to where we could fit a three quarter inch pulley on there. And I got it to fit on there nice and snug. And that also allows us to fit things like clutches and torque converters and things like that. So it is going to be kind of important that we make the shaft the correct size. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. And I'm just going to take a grinder and very gently clean this off until this fits on there. It's not going to be a perfect way of doing it. And I'm sure all the machinists are going to be like, whoa, what are you doing? That's no way that's going to be perfect. But it'll be good enough for what we're doing with it. All right, we got our pulley on there, all secured. Got the belt tension on the generator set up. Now we're gonna go ahead and start this thing and try to charge my batteries a little bit. So we're already connected to the battery bank. As you guys can see, we have 52.6 volts. Once the voltage is high enough to start charging, we'll get an amperage reading right here and a wattage reading right here. It's gonna be kind of hard to hear me once I start it, so I'm not gonna do too much talking. I'm just gonna show that this thing's making power and just kind of show the engine running. But there you go guys, that's my unboxing and test run of this diesel engine. Like I said, this is the 247cc version Chinese diesel that you can buy on eBay and Amazon. There's only three, we got all three, so look forward to some more projects with this thing on the channel. Let me know what you guys wanna see me specifically do with this engine, but I have quite a few ideas. I have a mini bike that I wanna diesel swap, a go-kart I wanna diesel swap, you know, run all the alternative fuels like we did in the other engine. That's a lot of fun to me. So if you're a diesel head and this excites you, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.